mere flesh wound. Now carve my name onto your flesh. I shall not falter. I'm not touching that. All this waiting bores me. I feel faint. Get it off me. I'll go ahead. I'm always ready. Time's not waiting. This will hurt. started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Where are they? This is taking forever! They didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. 
Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits holds sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around, or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, Using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Words, words, words. Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go! and return in triumph. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too. Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Just listen. 
You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. According to plan. <laughs> All according to plan. under attack we need to help some villains broke in and started killing everyone I barely made it hurry we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one Enemy approaching. Hey! This should do it.
in due time. That is not far. We will be victorious! A calculated risk. You're just in time! A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the Stolen Lands. Speaking of dummies, take this ring, quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. As it should be. in due time. Victory is certain. Serves you right. Leave this one to me.
was not part of the plan. All according to plan. I am prepared. What troubles you? Time's wasting! Focus on the goal. I wrote it like I saw it. This will hurt. Strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such. Heroes.
follow my lead. To get my hands dirty. Enemy okay. approaching. Out of my way. Leave this one to me. I'm writing you out of our story. Into. Ah! Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fooled assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all! Many people have died for nothing! <laughs> of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I don't know where you're headed, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. I know what to do. A trivial matter. Let's make this quick! Any last wishes? Let's try this way. Oh. Strike worth a legend. That is not far. Applause, please. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? 
We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. How would she know it was us and not the assassins? Unless someone planned on telling her. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. As it should be. Faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. According to plan. Would you look at that? Applause, please. Request. Them and the move on. This is where I step in. Mm. 
Learn how to use it first. Learn how to use it first. Unworld. In due time. Follow my lead. That is not far. In due time. My patience is running thin. Ready for anything. No mistakes. I deserve better. Time's not waiting. Enlighten me. I am prepared. I don't tolerate fools. I know what to do. I always have a second Ready class. for anything. No mistakes. My patience is around. Focus here. on the goal. Share your will. Time's wasting. I am prepared. I deserve better. I know what to do. Enlighten me. Time's not waiting. No mistakes. All according to plan.
Focus on the goal. You have my attention. Ready for anything. As it should be. In due time. Sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. Uh, too late. Forgive me. Oblivion is calling. That's impossible. Oh. It, uh, it seems you might be right. Yeah, it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. The end draws near. That is not far.
follow my lead. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Keston, House Duress, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. If I were a rich and influential lady like Jamandi, I'd also give myself a manly captain of the guard. Or two. Someone opened the gate, let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Considering Lady Jamande's fate, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Fire doesn't frighten me, thanks to Hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you safe. All according to plan. Prevail. Does it matter?
leave this one. Me. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Yes. Such a gambit would be typical of Iravetti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious there's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. They both came to your aid, Lady Germandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air after you promised you'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior, I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand, <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy! Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but... Your words display a lack of wisdom. What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Trying to save others is commendable, but Tartuccio's right. You were needed here more. 
May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your bright spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plan. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious.